Hi, a, a subject an old controversy about which is more dangerous, uh, AC or DC, it's coming up in the comment thread of, of a video of mine to, um, to Barclord, or maybe it's one of Barclord's videos, I forget now, um, between me and Heithliday. Now, I, I just gave my side of this old controversy, and I say uh, DC is actually more dangerous. Now, it's complicated by the fact that AC has a property, DC doesn't have frequency, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit how this works uh, for those who might not be familiar with it um, in a second, but it has a frequency, and um, you know, in a certain frequency range, AC is very dangerous because it synchronizes basically with the human neurological speeds, causes more severe uh, muscle contraction and, and problems with the body like that, and neurological problems. So, um, uh, that happens to be the frequency we go ahead and use in the US for AC power, for example. Okay, but AC, uh, okay, so the difference real quick is direct current, you just have a current, you've got electrons flowing along in a line, right? In AC, you don't do that. You're changing current from positive to negative and positive to negative, so you're not using electrons shooting along in the line. The electrons are just going back and forth in the line, like this. So it transmits better over wires because instead of having to pour a bunch of electrons along a line, which because of resistance causes the line to heat up, you know, and energy to be soaked off of the electricity in transmission, you can do AC over longer period, uh, longer distances uh, with less loss. And you know what I was taught is that you know analogously in your body. Uh, if you're the conductor, that energy loss is, you know, that's the heat and burning the, into you, burning your body wherever the current is going. So now it's, it's confusing because at 60 hertz, uh, you're around a really bad range for human beings, right? But if you have a really high frequency AC, you can take a tremendous amount of voltage and you're not going to have as much uh, 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 energy loss in the body and therefore it's not going to be burning your body up and you can handle a, a greater shock. Right. There's a lot of myths as far as I can tell myths about which is easier to let go, you know, which will clamp you on and throw you off and this kind of stuff. I don't think any of that's legit as far as I can tell. Now, uh, Edison tried to say that AC was more dangerous because he he owned the patents of DC and, and Westinghouse was pushing AC and um, AC of course eventually won in the US but uh, for example Edison made I think it was Edison made the electric chair to show it was the killing kind of electricity but again it's just it's just a matter of the frequency um, you know at 60 Hertz AC is definitely more dangerous than DC but um, at really high frequencies it's just not the case as I said or does, I don't think so it's a controversy I've just chosen one side of it it's sort of a fun old controversy but um, Edison as a lot of people know went around and Barclord said electrocuting animals to try to try to show with AC to try to show how dangerous it was as if he couldn't have electrocuted animals with, with DC um, electricity is dangerous is all he really should. I mean most people will tell you well don't play around with it they're they're both dangerous you know it's the current that'll kill you and they'll both deliver current um, but uh, but anyway yeah so that's my take I do believe that DC should is really more dangerous um, except for you know you can make AC more dangerous by tuning it into a, a frequency that's particularly dangerous to human beings Cheers.